Oh yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to be back here in this fair city. Sorry, I had a misfire. The wind demon did not function. But I had a backup. The Master Blaster. Am I looking sexy enough for you tonight, ladies? Oh. We'll get to the bottom of something later and it won't be a bad sale, I can tell you that right now. Because I am Tesco V the Dutch Hercules. How many virgins do we have? Meat men virgins tonight? A few? I hope so. Oh, there's fucking confetti all over the fucking stage. It's fabulous up here! I've been doing this shit longer than some of you peckerheads have been alive. 35 fucking years. I am a... That's right. I'm a 59-year-old man up here. Looking like a gay Al Bundy, I know. The Al Bundy reference, I can handle the gay part I'm not down with. But anyway, I am dressed like a Kansas City faggot for your entertainment pleasure. One thing you can actually change with me, but you still say me next time!
Fuck yeah. Old. Seriously, at my age, it's great to be back. I'm rocking harder than ever, you will soon find out. How about that lineup tonight? Bulimics, anti scene, and the meat man. Not a hint of suck on that bill, not a hint. No. We'll talk more about those guys later. But right now, I want to talk to you ladies. Ladies? More and more ladies at the meat show. Uh, it's a trend I like to see continue. Nothing wrong with you ugly dudes in the G.G. Allen shirts, but I love the ladies. All of the sweaty boobies down here, I like Sweaty tits. I got a factoid for you ladies. 80% of you are wearing the wrong bra size right now. That's true. So I want, I want you all to take your bras off, press your breasts together, stare and compare, and get the right bra during this next song. Because it's about fat girls. I love fat girls. Yeah. I want an ass like two bags of vanilla pudding. Or chocolate if, I, if I'm so inclined. You never know. Tuesday night is chocolate night. Because fat girls are rocking and rolling, boys and girls. Joe Papatone from the New York Yankees. Every city he went to, he picked up a fat chick. He said, why? Because they appreciate the sex and they make your breakfast in the morning. This song is called Triple B! Savage Sagas. First album in 20 fucking years. That's right, and it doesn't suck. If you're gonna be a legacy punk band, do not suck like Black Flag. Or the Dead Kennedys. Or the Dead Kennedys without Jello Biafra. 
You gotta deliver the goods every night like Jeff Clayton in anti-scene, that's right. Negative approach. Final conflict. Deliver the goods and don't suck. It's a simple concept. How many Dwarfs fans do we got out there in the world? Talking about the band not Glenn Danzig. We got no time for that sawed off piece of shit. Anyway, we won't bum everybody out with that. Black, seriously, true story. Black from the Dwarves, when he started his band, he bought a bunch of punk records. What do we want the Dwarves to sound like? He bought the Worthy to Me Men and You Suck album, and he said, that thing was terrible. I knew I could do better than that. All right, Black, it's on, bitch. Because I got news for you. You know how the Dwarves say they're the greatest band in the world? You know how the Dwarves' new album is called The Dwarves Invented Rock and Roll? Well, fuck all that. The Dwarves are the second greatest band in the world. Records. How many people know who Ann Coulter is? Yeah. Careful, Tesco, this is a red state. I think they love her here. Do you love Ann Coulter in Texas? Yeah. All right, tell the truth. How many of you have jacked off to Ann Coulter? This, yeah, look at all these people. How many of you have jacked off to Sarah Palin? I want to fuck her and then I want to kill her right after that. Anyway, this goes out to this skinny Republican bitch who has an Adam's apple, so I think she might be a man. It's called Kill Cut Coulter! Thank <laughs> you. 
us to be in a place like this really dangerous. And man, like your age, you should not be doing this kind of thing. I mean, you could hurt yourself. These people are carrying your insurance plans. I'm going to cover this. So clearly, hey! Shut the shot! That's how easy it is. We have a long line of penis guitars. We have the S Bandit, the Rump Ranger, the Vaney Bulger, and now the Spam Javelin. Keeping up with the times, you know. I come up with lots of euphemisms for penis. Songs about poop and boners. That's why we're here tonight, boys and girls. Fuck all this political shit. People were writing songs about Reagan and their girlfriend. 
I wanted to sing about poop and boners. And if you don't think poop is funny, then you should just go die. Yeah, that's right, you should go die. Because poop is hilarious, and that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, hold on a minute. Speaking of poop, I don't, I don't want any of you good old boys to get the wrong idea with this noose. Was the Pope? Yes. Oh man. What kind of smoke would be coming out of the chimney when you were elected? No oh, shit. Altar boy fucking would be over with. That's right. The dumbest thing ever. Organized religion. We can blame all of the world's problems, except for Glenn Danzig. An organized religion. This goes out to that dick cock in the bat again. It's called Paul. Fuck off, I'm not coming in today. Tell your boss that you're blind because you just don't see working for that asshole anymore. Do they have jobs? I'm not sure. No. They just prowl the streets of Austin. For a good rock show. Stealing people's tourist pocketbooks outside of Stubbs Barbecue. And otherwise having a good time. You guys want to hear a new song that doesn't suck? I saw play a lot of the old ones, but you gotta hear some of the new ones. I promise. We're all filled with rage, right? We have the devil and the angel on each shoulder. They tell us to do certain things like fucker or no, you really can't do that, Chester. That's wrong. Well, this one. This one goes out to all of you that are stuck in traffic on your little uh, I-35 that is a big rolling piece of shit all the way to Dallas. Some old people in, in a Buick Regal, and you wish you had a 50 caliber to rise out of the hood to blast them into next week. Somebody's called, I'm gonna fuck you up! I'm gonna fuck you up. 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 I'm g
I know, because your dad's a fucking dick, and I'm Tesco B. I'm filled with superhuman punk rock power. Longevity. Staying power, as it were. You know what I'm talking about, baby kids? You ready for some tantric sex? It's the state I'm not. Of rock. I don't have time for that. Besides, my lovely wife of 32 years, Gerda Gompers, is in the other room. Oh, she still married me even though I had diarrhea in the bed on our first date. That's a true story. Satin sheets, chocolates on the pillow, ate some bad shrimp, and loaded my diaper with real grand mud. That's right. That's love. That's love. Warts and all. Or as it were, diarrhea and all. I'll stop talking now, because these guys are getting bored up here. You want to hear some more old shit, don't you? Oh, it's called I Sin for a Living!
The pants are already on the floor. That's what it sounds like when your pants hit the floor. I do not allow anybody in my band to masturbate to the internet. That's cheating. We have a jack shack in the back of the conversion van where we go back there once in a while. There's a magazine rack. Most of my guys, Lay and I, like to jack off on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to the best of Stallone magazine. Does that make me an HMO? You can't have it. I believe Cobra is the finest movie in cinematic history. That's right. And on alternating Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I jack off to Seiko. Oh, look at that shit. Every man, woman, and child in the crowd tonight would like to eat at the Y. Mostly the children. And have a lunch on that mound, right, boys and girls? You know what? Even when Curtis has a headache, I always have Miss Michigan to make me happy. The song is called RGM1! I forgot to give out the Tesco Cumrag. 
Kochi. Who wants to come rag? You do. How many? Last time we were in Austin, some bitch tried to steal my Tracy Lord's pillowcase. God damn it, we shamed her into bringing it back. Think how many 50 gallon drums of seed that would spill the Tracy Lord. Was, was it her? You can't have it. You can't have it. Bob's gonna Bob protect my stuff, don't let him steal. Bob Surin, ladies and gentlemen. Roach Motel is in the house. You also can't have my my Jeff Boyardee barbecue apron. Remember the nineties? The strap is ruining the effect. But anyway, you know what the you know what a party animal this guy was? He kept a head in his freezer. He would thaw it in the microwave, give himself a Hoover, and then put it back in the freezer. You know now that is a party animal. He's even more party than G.G. Allen. What do you guys think? He deserved the blowjob. I want to hear it one more time for the bulimics. They were tighter than Honey Boo Boo's hairless cooter tonight. That's right. And the mighty scum punks of the universe, my favorite band, Anti-C. And another one of my favorite bands that did this song back in the 80s, but we do it better. Goes out to all of you who like to drink yourself into oblivion, it's called Alcohol! for you. Sylvester Stallone is here tonight. He's going to come out and do a tune with us. It's called Yo Adrian or something. Yeah? Our next album is actually going to be called Stallone. It's kind of weird. It's a concept album, but hang, hang with us on it. We're obsessed. We're obsessed. Yeah, we're obsessed. I've actually passed that down to my son. And now, another thing I passed down to my son is a love for speedy metal, fast, Aggressive, fresh, if you will. I saw this next. I saw this band in 1983 on Long Island. They blew Metallica off the stage. Three people from England. They called themselves Venom. This one goes out to the boys in Havoc. It's called Evil in a League with. Oh, 
Tracy. Who wants to touch our dicks other than everybody else here? You guys want us to start over? Ladies and gentlemen, the Dutch Hercules, the Lansing of Rochie. 
I need a t-shirt that says I broke my finger in Austin. Yeah, really. It really hurt. Oh, nice. Fucker. It's okay, it's not as bad as your finger. Jesus fuck, what happened to you? Sticking it up a uh, five-year-old's butt again. Got pissed off. We got one more for you. We got a special guest. We're gonna bring him out. He's very handsome. He's got curly hair that you girls would all die for. Come on out there, Jeffy. Look at that. Fuck yeah. You got any Sex Pistols fans in the audience tonight? Jeff said, pick your favorite Sex Pistols song and we're going to do a record for TKO Records. A little plug for TKO Records in, where are they, Long Beach? Where are they, Ron? Huntington Beach. Yes, Mark Rainey. He's a handsome devil, isn't he? Anyway, my favorite Sex Pistols song, by a long shot, it's about bloody abortions. The more the merrier. The song is called Bodies!